you guys, you've been asking for a smoked fish video. This is a kingfish, also known as a king mackerel. This is Catch Clean Cook Smoked Fish Dip. Good morning to our sizzle nation. The sizzle and pudding and Frank over here coming at you from Stewart. Came out to St. Louis Inlet today very early. I don't know when you're going to get this video before or after this hurricane, but we got a hurricane coming on right at us. This is probably our last day to fish, Hurricane Dorian. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, we got a bad current, south current here, real dirty water, all kinds of fresh water in the ocean close to shore. So I had a little trouble catching bait this morning. And now we're just drifting off what we call the Rand Tower. Got some baits down the bottom. Darcy and Frank are fishing on the bottom. And I got two flat lines. That means lines just on top for more pelagic fish. So we're gonna see what happens here. If you're new to the channel, our motto is Fish Dream Inspire. We quit our jobs about three years ago now. Hopefully inspire some of you guys to do the same or follow whatever your dreams are. Through fishing mainly. Hooked up! Just kidding. Oh, you see what she did, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got me good. <laughs> We're also rebranding Frank. He's my new best friend. Uh-oh, this is bait. It might be because he lives in a big cement high rise which has electricity all the time yeah, and air conditioning when there's hurricanes. Reel him up. But don't mention that. He's right here at the engine. Doubled up! First fish of the day coming on board. Well, they're not here yet. Both Frank and I are bottom fishing. I hooked up and then shortly after that, Frank hooked up. We're gonna see what it is. But we're breaking off the skunk so far. Can't complain. All right, my weight's coming up. I'll handle on my big old leader. Hey, look at that. Little sea bass. Two little sea bass. Check that out. Frank got a little baby, super cute. Oh, he just threw the hook. And I got a nice one. That's not a keeper, but that's a nice black sea bass. There we go, circle hook just popped out of the corner of the mouth. Cute little guy right there. Really good eating. We just need to get them a little bigger. He's a little on the small side. Let's get him to go. Bye. It seems like we went through a school of sea bass, so let's get our lines back down there. Wow, pretty amazing. Came across a school of bonitas on a color change. Hopefully some other fish here, so we stopped and drifted some baits. Every day you come out here, it's another adventure. That's why fishing's so much fun. Wow, bonita party. Very unusual to see them this close to the boat. Usually they run <laughs> away or go down low. Hopefully there's some other predators around here which we can catch. So why don't you tell us about that bikini? What about it? Where'd you get it? It's a bikini. You don't want to tell us where you got it? No. Why not? I'm not sponsored by them. If you want to know, direct message me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll tell you. But um, yeah, I never owned a pink bikini. I don't think anybody's ever seen me in a pink bikini. So I was like, this is cool. I like this one. So I bought it. It's very bright, vibrant, like me, like you. Cooking it. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's going up high. It's up high. AJ. Way high. It's gotta be a king. Hooked up. We are just moving from spot to spot here, trying different things today. That's what you have to do. You got to keep moving around to try and find the fish. So I just hooked a, fit, a, a uh, fish on bottom with my live bait, a lot, little live goggle eye coming to the boat right now, but it swam up. So it's making me think it's not your, your typical bottom fish. But we're going to find out. Here we go. Here's my leader. Yeah. It's not done yet. Saw the boat. It didn't like that. Oh boy, it's on the other side. Oh, a big king. I need gloves. Woo! A nice old big king fish. I don't know how we're going to do this. <laughs> that long leader on the leader. I don't know how he hasn't broken off yet on my mono leader, my chlorocarbon leader. Let's go the other side. Circling around the boat, keeping the rod tip real low so I don't cross the prop or break them off on the boat. 
later. We're gonna see how this works again. Might take another run. What do you Real. want me to do? Real? Yeah, I got good. I'm good? Okay. Let him run. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be impossible, guys. All right, put it in gear. Not meant to catch a kingfish on a snapper rig. Okay, put it in gear. A 20 foot a liter. And he hasn't broke us off yet with those sharp Yeah, teeth. we got mono leader. He could easily break us off at any minute. Hang on. It's about the fourth time this fish has got to the boat, but with this 20 foot leader, it's difficult. I got a weight on there. It's not meant to be reeled through the tip. With a snapper or a grouper, you just bring them up, no problem. But with the big old kingfish, he is not cooperating today. You wanna have smoked fish dip, come on. <laughs> Get up here. Oh right. man! Solid king. Put yeah. on the gaff. Oh, that was a close one. That was hard work. <laughs> Look at that circle hook. Look at that circle hook. This goes to show you a circle hook that is right in the corner of that guy's mouth. He's not going anywhere, and that's how he didn't cut us off today. Look at that. Actually, he already cut through the line. The circle, the circle hook's just like hanging out right there. But well, that's a solid kingfish. Yeah, it is. He's fat. Nice. We got a fish in the boat and we got dinner. I was getting worried there. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a struggle out here. So that's fishing. Let's pop this uh, hook real quick and I'll hold them up for you guys. All right, there's my kingfish on my snapper rig. He's pinning up a ton of fish right now. Fat kingfish right there. He was hungry. Pretty cool to catch him on the snapper rod with no wire whatsoever. It's a pretty freaking cool, beautiful fish. And if you get them on ice properly and take care of these fish, they're quite tasty, especially on the first day you catch them. But this guy's probably gonna be smoked kingfish dip, cast clean cook, king mackerel. Okay, getting the kingfish on ice, he's mostly dead now, but I got some pictures with him. You know, your YouTube job, gotta get some pictures with your fish. But I'm gonna try and bleed him, we're gonna see what happens here. Okay, so this knife is from Smith Knives. This is their bait breaker knife. And this is our new um, knife that we keep on the boat. And I'm just breaking the gills. All right, there we go. Bleeding them out in the bag. I'm gonna get him nice on ice and get him chilled down and he's gonna make some great fish dip. Look at those teeth. Whew. Good job, Dust Sizzle. We'll see you guys back at the house to flay that fish. All right, y'all, we made it back to the house safely. It's now time to fillet our kingfish. It's getting a little late in the day, so I'm gonna try and knock this out while you can still see me filleting, and I won't cut myself. In my 165 quart grizzly, we have got our beautiful king. We actually weighed him when we got home. I believe he weighed like 18 pounds, so I was pretty accurate on the boat, but it's a solid fish and a heck of a way to catch him on a snapper rig. That was wild. So, a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments, I no longer am using Bubba Blade knives, Bubba knives, just so you're aware. I'm using Smith products. These have been around since 1886. This company has been around since 1886. They normally make knife sharpeners, but they're starting to make a lot of fillet knives as well. Super sharp, love this knife. This is their seven inch saltwater fillet knife. So, actually, I'm left-handed, let me flip around. We're just gonna make a cut. Kingfish is actually a really, not a very tough fish to fillet, mainly because of the fact that it's, it doesn't have really tough scales, and it's really easy to fillet it off, but you still need a sharp knife. So I'm just following the backbone. You see I'm keeping the knife underneath. Just working my way down. Then we get to the tail section. You see I just popped the knife through. We're gonna get that out of the way. Done, and then same thing. We're just gonna continue to follow the backbone and get our beautiful fillets off. Super excited to smoke this fish. I've been looking up recipes. I have a great recipe to use and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And another quick tip too, is you wanna make sure your kingfish is really iced down properly because you wanna just make sure he's ice cold so when you do fillet them, 
actually stays intact. The meat on a kingfish or a king mackerel is very soft and squishy and almost mushy. So if you don't take care of it properly, it's not going to come out all that pretty. You can see I just made that cut there. And then I'm just working my knife on the other side of the spine bone and slab off this beauty. The kingfish is actually a really good fish and a lot of people don't like them or only use them for smoked fish dip because this kind of fish is perfect for that. It's a very oily fish. And then right here towards the head, I'm just going to keep all those rib bones intact. I don't want that all over my fillets. Wow, that looks beautiful. There we go, just like that. Slab that right off. Check out that gorgeous filet right there. Got all the meat off on that side, perfect. Now, the cool thing with kingfish and smoking this fish is we're going to leave everything intact. All these pin bones, all the bloodline, we're not gonna take the skin off, nothing like that. Now, you may be aware of that, some of you may not, but all I'm gonna do here is we wanna make, when we make our cuts of slabs, you wanna make sure that you have like, that it's all equally like the same thickness. So I'm gonna just try to make sure I, like this for instance, is probably like a good inch. You can see how thick it is throughout the whole entire cut. So when you make your cuts, just do it so it's even. So right here is a one inch, beautiful cut. And then towards the tail here, cut it there. All right, and that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna leave everything on it. And once he gets smoked, all of those bones and the skin will just should peel right off. I've never smoked a fish, but I'm excited to do so. And even some of these bones might dissolve into the meat and it'll be extra good. So this bloodline and everything stays. Now it's time to go into the house and prepare the brine that we're gonna soak the kingfish in before we smoke them. So I'm gonna finish up the other side and I'm gonna meet you all in the kitchen. Before we can smoke any of our kingfish fillets, we have to create a brine for the kingfish to soak in. The reason for the brine is for the fact that it's going to disinfect the fillets and it's also going to extract water out of the meat because there's high concentration of water in kingfish. Two cups of kosher salt, one cup of light brown sugar, eight cups of water. I'm also going to add a secret ingredient, some Florida honey, wild raw honey. And the brine, it's really just dependent on how you like it. You can make sweet brine, you can make um, spicy brine, or you can just make plain brine. And I'm adding a little bit of the honey to spice it up, make it sweet. Mix it and dissolve all the sugar and salt. I put the kingfish fillets in a large Tupperware bowl, and we're gonna add our glaze, our brine. You just want to make sure the fish is covered like so. And you actually, do you see that? Like the fish is trying to float. That means we used enough salt. So that was perfect. So if it starts to float like that, that's a good sign. Now we're going to cover it and store it in the refrigerator for 24 to 36 hours. All right, guys, it's about 36 hours later and we have a kingfish here. Now we have to dry it before we actually put it in the smoker. You'll notice we have two bins here. That's because we actually ended up doing two different recipes for the brine. This is our first time doing it as well, so we're gonna try something different. And I guess maybe whichever one works out best, then we'll let you know at the end. But right now, we gotta put them on these racks to dry them. So I'm just gonna spread them out on these racks. We have paper towels on the bottom of the racks in these pans. One very important step is that you are not going to rinse these off with fresh water right now. Now that you have them all in a rack, you're just gonna pat them dry with a towel. And then we're gonna put them in the refrigerator for three or four hours. It's time to make the actual fish dip. We got all the ingredients laid out here, but first, Darcy wanted to make a little bit of a glaze to put on the, on the fish to give it a little more flavor. So the glaze was butter. She melted the butter in a pan and then she poured in some sugar and, and just some uh, honey and stirred it up real nice. And it was almost like caramel, so that was really cool. Then it was time to put this thing in the smoker. And we got this smoker on Amazon, and, and of course it's gonna be in Darcy's Amazon store. Here's the link right here. And with the holidays coming up, I just want to remind you guys really special that anything you buy on Amazon, Darcy gets credit. So go through that link. It's going to bring you right to your account. It's going to be no fuss, no muss. Type in what you want, uh, new underwear, whatever it is. 
and you're gonna shop normally, and uh, Josh will get a little bit of points for that, so thank you very much. But uh, so we got the smoker, and we sprayed, of course, the bottom of the fish on the, on the skin side with some Pam, so it wouldn't stick to the grill, and we put our little glaze on there, super cool, and then we put it in this uh, nice digital smoker, it was totally awesome, by Charbroil, and then ended up taking about three hours, you know, but you check your fish, and to see how it goes. And it came out, and uh, just came out real beautiful, and we were all set to go. All right, now we're gonna put in eight ounces of soft cream cheese. We left it out for a while. All right, now half cup of mayonnaise. Everyone said to use this mayonnaise, Dukes. Teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm just going with a splash. We're gonna do some chives. And then some celery for crunch. All right, we're gonna add some jalapeno pepper, but I'm gonna take out the seeds and the ribs because Darcy doesn't like it too very hot. About half a red onion. All right, I'm gonna add some lime. I heard you guys told me uh, in the last video that I was using this thing wrong and use it like this. Put it like this and then it turns it inside out. That works pretty good. We'll do a pinch of Old Bay, and then some ground pepper. All right, now it's just time to mix. And that's it, guys. Now we're ready. You got a perfect appetizer to enjoy with your Lanchard Lager. Yeah. Let's dive in. I gotta take a sip of my Lanchard first. Yeah, yeah. I like to put the jalapenos on here, look. Yum, yum. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I know there's a lot of calories in that, but it is freaking good. I can handle them. So good. And <laughs> it was really fun experiencing the smoker for the first time ever and smoking fish or any meat for that matter. <laughs> it, it's a little bit of a process, but it's cool like just learning how to do the brine and learning how to do the smoker yeah. and then having this like awesome fish and making all this fish dip and we're gonna share with all our friends and our neighbors. I hope you, I wish you guys were here too so I could share with you. But it just makes me respect the fish in the ocean that much more, taking care of it and going through all those steps and making a bomb meal like that. Yeah, we never really kept kingfish before. Never. Because we don't really like to eat it, but and most yeah. people smoke it. Right. But now, you know, now with the smoker, we've opened up a whole other avenue yes. of ways to eat that fish and enjoy the, the sea. Right. So if you guys have any other fish that you think we should smoke, let us know in the comments below. But next up will probably be sailfish. And you also do bluefish. I heard that's the bomb. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. So until next time. Follow your dream. And, and keep, keep on catching. catching. I, need, I need some more. I got cheers. Oh, okay. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.